Great, welcome back to the tutorials. By now you've probably looked over the complete uh, Dungeon Designer 2 tutorial and also the initial es or essentials uh, battle mapping tutorial. So now what I want to do is move us on to some more advanced sort of battle mapping techniques. What we're going to do is we're going to create a crypt and I'm going to call this, or I don't know, the Crypt of Eternal Dying, something terrifying like that. Basically, it's the Lair of a Lich. In order to access this crypt, the, the characters will be wandering down a, a hallway and there will be a secret door, maybe a statue or something, that they uh, can access to open up uh, the secret entrance in the trap area. So in order to do that, we're going to dedicate one of the battle map tiles to being a hallway with a secret entrance off the side. We're then going to create three additional battle map tiles that we can use for creating the actual crypt itself. The first tile in this set will be an entrance way that leads into the secret entrance section of the hallway. Then we'll have a middle tile that we can print as many as we want and we can make the crypt using this middle tile as long or as small as we, as we wish. And then finally there will be a specialized tile that represents the end of the crypt uh, which will have some evil lair associated with it. We'll figure that out as we do the mapping. Now let's start by creating a new map. So I'm going to click on the new icon here. I'm going to select Dungeons, pick a pre predefined template, Next. Scroll down, find my annual battle tiles. There we go, we've now got our basic map. Now let's put the hallway in. We're going to draw the hallway using the floor command and I'm going to right click because I'd like this hallway to be a fairly interesting texture. I think what we'll do is we'll have it this checkered texture here. The hallway is going to run with a 10 foot wide entrance. Now if we go to the layers and I get my 10 foot guides and I turn them on or I unhide them I can see that I would need my floor to start here go all the way down to here and up there. There you go, a simple hallway. I'm now going to add a different type of floor for the secret entrance which is going to lead off this direction. It's going to lead off to the right. So click on the floor and I want a sort of grungy looking floor of some sort. Let's go for this stonework cobble. Stonework cobble is a fantastic floor for all sorts of things. Now the actual hole, the actual crypt itself is going to connect not with 10 foot but with 20 foot connections. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my layer, hide my connectors, turn on my 20 foot connectors and you can see that I need my floors to come all the way to here. So I'll start on this corner and I work counterclockwise to create a floor area. Wonderful. We now need to put some walls in. Now the walls are going to extend down the corridor and also along here. But because we don't want the characters to see the initial secret entrance when we've got the miniatures down, I'm going to draw the secret entrance walls first. So I'm going to click and I'm going to select a brown cobble wall. Click on the start of the wall and extend it just to the edge of the area of the map. There we go. There's our two walls. Let's now select a grey wall and we'll run it again from just the one edge of the map to the other edge of the map, one edge of the map to the other edge of the map. Now what this will do is it will actually make sure that this wall is masked by this wall when the map is printed. The next thing that we need to do is put a secret symbol over here so I'm going to go to the wall features or the doors function. I'm going to grab secret door and since it's on this side we'll just pop it into place here. There we go. I'm going to zoom in now take a look at what we've got. Let's turn off these guides since we don't need them anymore. So I'm going to hide the guides and let's take a look by turning on or activating the sheets to see how this is going to look. Fantastic, you can see that we've now got a really nice effect here. 
But of course, if we were to print out this map exactly as it stands, the problem is that the player characters would the characters would actually see this hidden area and immediately know to uh, start searching it. Now, there's a couple of things that we can do. We could very quickly create another map, another battle map, which is just a corridor, just the straight corridor. Or we could use the same map and hide this information here. Quite frankly, I think it's just going to be fast to uh, fast enough just to save this and then delete this area and save it again. Let me show you. Let's first of all save this tile. I'm going to go save as. I'm going to save this in my battle tiles for Pro Fantasy tutorials. I'm going to call it. Hmm, what was it? The Crypt of Undying Evil. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, we now need to say that it's the Entrance Hall Secret Entrance Shown. And if you remember my naming conventions, I like to have the connectors 10 foot, 20 foot. There we go. So that gives me a lot of description about what this file is. Save it. We could print this tile as it stands and uh, it would be ready for play. What I'm now going to do is just remove all of that with the uh, removed tool. Refresh it. We now have another tile. Save as. I'm going to give it the same name, but I'm going to say here Secret entrance not shown. Wonderful. Now let's move on to the crypt itself. That gives us our two tiles that will show us the entrance hall. Um, I'm going to go new. Don't want to save this because we've already saved it. Dungeons. We'll select the annual tile. What we're now going to do is continue that floor in. Now remember, we were using the 20 foot connections. So as you can see, my entrance way, if I want it to connect to that secret entrance in the hallway, has to start here and here. I'm going to right click on the floor to select that lovely cobblestone again. There it is. Starting on the outside, we'll come in. Now, this crypt area is going to be a rather unusual shape. So as you can see, I'm sort of doing a, a number of alcoves in here. Great, we've now got our floor. I also want to create an area in the middle here, which basically is uh, large unused column areas, which means I need to cut a hole in this shape. 